King paid a visit to London's Islamic Cultural Centre. The ambassador had arranged for more Saudi Arabians resident in London to meet their king. By the nature of their work and duties in many fields, they form an invaluable link between Saudi Arabia and Britain. The Islamic Cultural Center has its own mosque to which King Faisal went to kneel in prayer. Much of the political work of the state visit took place at number 10 Downing Street, where King Faisal was received by Mr. Harold Wilson. They talked of the essential part still to be played by Britain in the Middle East. Lightning supersonic fighter planes lined up at Salmsbury Aerodrome were part of an order executed by the British Airplane Corporation for Saudi Arabia. They were to have been inspected by King Faisal, but urgent political business in London prevented His Majesty being present. His brother represented him on this occasion. The lightnings are only part of an order for a whole air defense system to be manufactured for Saudi Arabia by Britain. Jet provosts were on view at Wharton Airfield. These planes are used for training. Hundreds of young men in Saudi Arabia will soon be initiated in the art of flying big jets by learning the rudiments in jet provosts. The king's son, Prince Bandar, is already familiar with jet provosts. He is at the RAF College, Cranmer. Back to lightnings and an examination of a cockpit by Prince Sultan. To end the visit, the royal party went to the dais to watch the lightnings flying in formation. The City of London paid an impressive tribute to the Saudi Arabian monarch at a banquet in Guildhall. The Lord Mayor of London received the King and escorted him to the library where he was presented with an address of welcome. It laid stress on the importance of the King in world affairs and of his country's contribution to culture, wealth and influence. Then, in procession, the King, the Lord Mayor and other dignitaries of the City Corporation went into the dining hall.
Here, for centuries past, the city has entertained monarchs and presidents from overseas. Duke of Kent and the British Foreign Minister sat to the left of the King. The Duchess of Kent was his immediate neighbour. The Lord Mayor presented the King with a book, The Living City, a pictorial guide to the London of today. And it is of the Britain of today that His Majesty will, everyone hopes, have the warmest memories of his state visit.